If you're looking at addresses by time held for Jasmine coin, you would notice the number of holders is currently at 50.22%, while traders is currently at 6.5%. That is to say the number of um, people trading, holding Jasmine for less than a month is currently sitting at 6.53%, while the cruisers, which is more like the swing traders, is currently at 43.25 percent which is good the metrics the data here is quite okay that is to say a lot of people are choosing to hold on to their jasmine coin than taking profit or maybe trading for short-term profit if you're looking at the jasmine 24 hour trading volume is down minus 40 percent in the last 24 hours we are currently at 60 million dollars we are ranked 144 positions out of 9350 active cryptocurrencies on coin market cap so in this video we're going to be looking at the jasmine chart in order to come into a conclusion of where we should expect a price to move next we're going to be looking at the btc chart as well we are going to be looking at the alt coin to that three uh, market cap we are going to be looking at the btc dominant as well with a lot of informations are going to be shared here by the way if you haven't liked this video please smash the like button to 100 likes i really appreciate your support and um, share this video to your friends and family so let's go jasmine coin is currently trading around 0 0.02115 the trading price is down minus 0 0.4 percent in the last 24 hours and um, our trading volume is not looking good at all in my previous video i told you guys the trading volume is losing momentum and as long as we continue to lose momentum then there won't be any spike now the truth of the matter is it's not just jasmine that is in a stable phase the overall market is in a stable phase right now be it btc ethereum or um, any altcoin of your uh, or choice at all like most of them are currently consolidating if you're looking at the chart for btc you would notice it's almost similar to that of jasmine now this is btc on the four hour time frame after we got a massive pump from here we consolidated for a while now let's look at jasmine you notice the same chart pattern is playing out after we got a massive pump from here we consolidated from what we are still in the consolidation phase now i'm thinking after a breakout from this consolidation phase is likely to be to the upside that's where we have the closest liquidity for jasmine coin and if it's going to the upside it's going to be into this zone we talked about in our previous video which is the zone at around 0 0.025 and also 0 0.028 respectively so jasmine is more jasmine coin is more likely to move to the upside down the downside the probability of jasmine moving to the downside is 30 percent why the tendency of the upside movement is 70 i might be wrong but fingers crossed let's see now this is btc let's talk about btc real quick and uh, btc is currently trading at around seventy thousand dollars so i think we have a liquidity around 73 um it's close to four seventy four thousand dollars so from the look of things btc is trying to gain more momentum in order to take out the previous all-time high again and if BTC is doing that, the altcoin are likely to follow slowly behind. Now let's look at the altcoin total tree real quick. This is the altcoin total tree market cap excluding BTC and Ethereum. Now the previous all-time high market cap for the altcoin total tree was around one trillion dollars, or we can say technically one point one trillion dollars. And now we are currently at seven hundred and sixty-seven billion dollars total altcoin market cap for the altcoin total tree now we are going to be needing a 46 percent pump from the current market cap the overall altcoin is to get to the all-time high if you're paying attention we haven't even broken the all-time high yet we even still have another resistance at around 832 um, billion dollar for the total tree altcoin whereas btc has already broken all-time high and is even currently trading above the all-time high so that is to tell you all season is coming and how are you going to know if all season is coming now pay attention to this btc dominance the moment we start seeing a massive rejection from here remember we got a massive rejection from here which led to a massive old season in 2017 bull run now we got another massive rejection from here which led to the massive bull run for alt altcoin in 2020 december 2020 to um early 2021 
Now, the same scenario, because this is a trend line, and each time we get to that trend line, it is likely to be a rejection area. Now, I was thinking the BTC dominant was going to get to 60% in order to give us a, a, a better room to dump, you understand, for our altcoin to pump out about. I think the 60% zone is not happening. I, I don't know, but it looks like 60% might not happen because if you're looking at this trend line, we are already at the trend line and we are consolidating close to that trend line. Well, I think the more we consolidate around that trend line, then we are likely to maybe break above the trend line, flip it into a support, then get to this 57% zone for the BTC dominance. This 57%, 60% zone is likely to be a massive correction. It's setting massive re rejection area for the dominance. If we are not getting rejected from here, we've already gotten some rejection here in the past week. Like we've been trading below the trend line for more than, more than how many? Wow, more than three months now. Now in the last month, we came there, we got a massive rejection and we are now trading below it. Now, if we continue trading below it and start forming some bearish correction, I would love to see the BTC dominant correction retrace back to this zone, the zone at around 42% and 40% respectively. That is when we can expect our altcoin to explode exponentially, to go parabolic, like seriously. And it's going to be massively massive. Now, I think let's just bring out the, what's it called? Let's um, bring out the uh, RSI real quick. Because we talked about the relative strength index on the last Jasmine video we did, if I'm not mistaken. We've been talking about the relative strength index for Jasmine. Now, if you're paying attention, this is a support. So Jasmine is most likely to bounce from this support to the upside. So let me just take this stuff out and um, let's figure out if the bearish divergence we've been talking about remember i think if i'm not mistaken i was one of the first youtuber to um uh, uh bring to your attention of this bearish divergence and i was screaming at the top of my voice when i discovered this bearish divergence that we are likely to get a rejection which we did the bearish divergence played out we got a massive rejection from here Ever since then, we came down massively before retracing back to that zone. Now, this is the RSI. And if you're paying attention in the previous video, I said for we to resume our uptrend, we need to see the RSI, this, RS, this RSI signal line to break above this trend line, this yellow trend line we just drew in order to flip the price of Jasmine bullish once again, which that was what happened. When we broke above the trend line, we got a massive moonshot for the price of Jasmine to the upside. A massive moonshot and now we have flipped the rsi into a support now this is why i'm favoring more price move to the upside for jasmine down the downside remember in the previous video i told you guys the moment we are flipping the trend line into the moment the rsi is flipping the trend line into a support it attends it it a green signal that we are preparing to get another moonshot to the upside now we flipped the trend line into a support any moment from now we should get a moonshot which jasmine is going to even i think there is more tendency that we might even go above beyond let, let me just flip it to the weekly time frame real quick to get a clearer picture for you guys to get a clearer picture of what i'm trying to say now this is the weekly time frame for jasmine the strongest buy side liquidity here is between 0 0.025 and also 0 0.028, which is likely not to be a problem. Where we are likely to encounter problem is around 0 0.049 and also 0 0.043. Let me say technically 0 0.05, you understand? This zone is the zone I'm expecting a rejection for Jasmine. And if we're not getting that rejection, then it's going to be a massive moonshot massive i'm talking about massive moonshot to the upside for jasmine that is when we can start seeing 12 cent 30 cent 50 cent respectively considering the partnership jasmine is in with the likes of panasonic sony toyota with transcosmos and the likes i think getting to one dollar 
is very very realistic even two dollar is still realistic that should bring us to around a market cap of close to 100 billion dollars for jasmine and let's not forget that blackrock also own eight percent of the shares in panasonic and jasmine is in a strategic partnership with panasonic so just think of it imagine what is going to happen very very soon for the long-term holders of jasmine well that will be all for now subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please like this video let's take it to 100 likes 150 even 200 likes i uh, really appreciate your support as always my name is isaac invest the amount you can afford to lose peace out